Hi, my name is Sheila Ward, and I'm here to share with you today the next section um, of the videos for the first week of the ISTF workshop on getting funding for your chapter. And I'm coordinator for the global ISTF. Now, Daniel has already shared with you an overview on getting official registration for your chapter within your country, why that's important. And then he's also shared with you on global funding initiatives, several of them, and how to link with them. Now we're gonna to go to developing your chapter strategic plan or plan of action to, so that your chapter is able to make use of registration and those funding opportunities where they, they are global or in country. So an example of a chapter with a, of an ISTF chapter with a strategic plan is the one in Rwanda, which has a plan to implement agroforestry activities with communities on the boundaries of forest reserves to reduce pressure on those reserves. And here are the components you would put into a strategic plan. First off, don't be too ambitious. Plan out what you can realistically do. That, and the plan should be a short document of one to three pages for one to three years. This is not a full-fledged proposal. It's an overview, an umbrella of what you might do. And it may be better to start with a plan for one year to get your chapter moving. The parts of the plan will include, one, the objectives, two, the activities, three, the timeline, four, the budget, and then there's another component on supporting capabilities, the capability statement. The plan should closely match what your chapter capacities are, the members' knowledge and skills, for example. But we will talk about that in the next presentation. Okay, so let's talk about number one, chapter plan objectives, the, street, the strategic plan objectives. Now, you should base your strategic plan on your chapter objectives as stated in your chapter bylaws, or else the bylaws should be modified, the objectives should be modified to reflect what your chapter really wants to do. Now, from that set of objectives in your bylaws, you should choose one to three objectives as the basis for the strategic plan, okay? If you have, don't have bylaws yet, if your chapter's information, don't worry about it. Develop your strategic plan on what your chapter would like to do. We have made a video on how to form your chapter, including the bylaws. Now, here is an example of some strategic plan objectives that you, the type of thing you might want to use. For example, objective one, facilitate the exchange of information on tropical forests and their resources. Objective two, Promote understanding of conservation and sustainable use of tropical forest resources. Objective three, promote reforestation within your region. So those are three objectives that, that may work for you or something else, just examples of things you might use, things you might use. The next step, number two, is to plan your activities that will help implement or meet each of those objectives. And again, for the period of time you're making the strategic plan, one to three years, and the activities should be concrete, specific, and realistic, some things that you can actually do. Okay, so here's some example of activities to meet those objectives. For objective one, facilitating the exchange of information. Well, that might mean creating your chapter network, including increasing chapter membership and improving linkages among members and with other organizations. Objective two, promote understanding of conservation and sustainable use of tropical forest resources. Now, how could you do that? How might you carry that out? Well, your activities could include developing communication tools with chapter members, such as a website, your social media, a newsletter, discussion groups, you could hold webinars, seminars, and workshops to help disseminate this information. Objective three, promote reforestation within your region. Possibility, you might have some other thing you'd like to do. 
but activities for this kind of objective might include on the ground training and reforestation projects in one or more areas with specific groups. The next thing is the plan timeline. Okay, so this is gonna be um, how you're gonna lay out the activities over those years to meet those objectives. You're, what you will want to do when. You need to think in steps for some activities. One year you do one part, the next part another year, and then after that you do the last piece. The strategic plan table could look like this. You could have a timeline divided up into years, divided into half years, quarters, whatever works for you, and then state by your objectives. And for each activity, you might have a different component to be carried out in each year. Okay, then the last, well, the last piece we're gonna consider here is the strategic plan budget. For this, you need to determine the amount of money that each of your activities will require in order to achieve those objectives to carry out the strategic plan. Now the budget for a strategic plan will be more general than for an actual proposal. And the budget should be developed at the same time that you develop the activities. As you think of an activity like developing a website, you need to think of what things do you need for that to work? And then how much might each of those things cost? So you might need to think of, you might need paper, server space for the website, ink, help with creating the website, a subscription for an online platform. You might need money for establishing a nursery if you're gonna do a reforestation project. You might need transportation to move between sites. You might want to make awards to local groups if they meet a certain criteria for seedling survivorship, for example, in reforestation. So, and you might also want to think of other ways of achieving, of achieving these particular things besides things that just involve money. What kind of volunteer work can you get from member, chapter members to help implement parts of a project? So here's an example of a budget. Okay. So we've got just a section of a budget for objective three, dealing with uh, promoting reforestation, this reforestation, little reforestation activity, dividing it over three years. You might want to set up a nursery in one year and that'll cost some money. And then maybe you need transportation out to talk to the communities. And then maybe you need money for the award that might go to some people, some groups, if they achieve that survivorship level. There might be other costs associated with that activity. And then all of the other activities you might implement, each of them might have a cost or you might need to think about other ways of achieving them other than spending money. So this is your assignment for this um, section. We want you to review this chapter strategic plan of two other chapters or chapters in development, edit and edit your draft strategic plan that you have developed in accord with the comments you receive from those other groups reviewing yours and the guidelines offered in this presentation. So with this, I'll say thank you very much and um, we'll pass on to the next section.